today? We are going to talk about something called compound shapes. Compound shapes. Reminds me, a lot of the stuff that we do in math relates back to like your English and grammar that you've learned. Like when we talked about root words and things like that, you've done a lot of that in your English class this year. Compound shapes relates to, thank you, Kayla, relates to compound sentences. What are compound sentences? Delaney. Compound sentences are two sentences that can stand apart but are together. Yeah, so a compound sentence where I have two separate sentences and we put them together <coughs> to make one sentence, correct? A compound shape is where I'm going to have two. And for shapes, we can have two or we could have more. But where I'm going to have different complete shapes and I put them together to make one. Another word that could be used to describe these is or composite. Shapes. So the word composite shapes, they mean the exact same thing, compound and composite. So composite, when I think about that, I think about, because, um, you know, I'm old and we spend a lot of time at Home Depot and Lowe's. I never thought that I would like going there when I was younger. Like, and now on the weekend, I'm like, yay, let's go to Lowe's. All right. Um, but one of the things, if you go to Lowe's and you go over to, like, the um, hardware section, um, they have stuff called plywood. Has anyone ever seen plywood? It's that wood where it looks like you can see all the different wood chips and they're kind of glued together. All right, that's a type of composite wood because it's made of a bunch of different pieces that are put together to make one sheet. All right, um, another way we, place that we see the word composite is in math. We talk about a composite number. A composite number would be like the number 12. Why is 12 composite? Macy? Mm -mm. Danny? Yeah, so to get 12, I could do 2 times 6. That gives me 12. So two numbers make 12. I could also do 3 times 4. That makes 12. So a composite number is a number that can be made up by different numbers, right? So, like, three is not composite because the only number that makes three is three. All right? Um, composite. Another one, so someone else um, thought of this last period, and I had never thought of it before, is the word compost. Doesn't that sound kind of like composite? They have the same root word, root meaning. What is compost? What is that? It's kind of gross, but what is compost? Um, Josh? It's a leftover, like, vegetables and food that you yeah, so it's where you put all this old vegetables and old food, and over time it degrades to form what? Soil, to form one thing. All right? So whenever you see the word compost or composite, we know that that's taking multiple things and making one thing, just like compound takes multiple things and makes one thing. Are you all okay with that? Okay, I probably spent too much time talking about that. All right, for number one, I need to split this shape up. Because we don't, like, this doesn't have a name, all right? Besides, I could say it's a pentagon because it has one, two, three, four, five sides. Do we know anything about pentagon formulas? No. So we're definitely going to want to split this up. What, how could I split this? How could I split that, Aubrey? Um, you could split it into a triangle. Yeah, so I could split it into where I have a triangle and a rectangle. So if I draw a line right here, that's going to make this triangle in the front. So I'm going to make that in green. And then that's going to be a square or a rectangle. Remember, guys, just because it looks like a square, does that automatically mean it's a square? No. No, make sure you have the numbers that match to tell you that it's a square. In this case, I think it is, but we always want to just call it a rectangle to be safe until we check out our numbers, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do just to organize my work is I'm going to number this shape one and this one shape two. That way, when I'm doing my work, I know what shape I'm talking about. Okay? All right, so let's start with shape one. What formula should I use for shape one? Um, Danny? A equals LW. A equals LW. Last period, we used A equals BH on almost every single thing. Can you use either one? Yes. Yes. When do you have to use BH? 
for a parallelogram. For a rectangle, you can use either one, though. All right, so Danny, what are my length and my width here? In the correct order. Four and four. Four and four. All right, there's really no correct order for length and width. Um, and they're the same number here. So is this one a square? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to use four and four. So what's that give me? 16 meters squared. All right, let's look at shape two. What formula do I want to use for shape two? What formula do we want to use for shape two? Price? A equals base times height. That would help if I wrote the right letters. Divided by two. Okay, what are my base and my height for that triangle? So make sure you look carefully. Connor, Canal. The base is four and the height is two. Okay, so you said the base is four. How did you know the base was four? Because it doesn't have a number there, Connor. So how did you figure that out? So if I look at this rectangle or this square, in fact, I know that the left side has to match the right side. So this four would also go over here. And now that yellow line and that green line are the same. Do you all agree? So yes, my base is four. And then he said the height is two because from the bottom of this triangle to the very tip top is two divided by two. So what do I get there? Four meters squared. So what do you think I'm going to do with my two shapes now? Macy? <laughs> Thank you, Macy, for raising your hand. We're going to add them together. Now you'll notice this is different. Um, I want you to remember that on your test you're also going to have shapes where there are holes in the middle. If it's a hole, what are you doing? Subtracting. But if they're next to each other, we're going to add. So 16 plus 4 gives me 20 meters squared. You notice I'm still writing out that I'm adding them together. Okay. Make sure we include all of the math involved. All right, I want us to look at number, sorry, I'm trying to decide. Um, we'll do number three. Let's look at, no, let's do number five, sorry. Let's do number five, and we'll go back to some of the more other problems in a little bit. Number five, what is the best way to split this up? Number five, or how could I split it up? Um, Dash. Um, when it drops down right there. So like I could go down? Yeah. Like that? So I could go down like this, which is going to give me a 14 and a 14. So that's going to make a shape together, right? All right, I like that idea. And then this shape also gives me a 16 and a 17. So did I have to figure anything out? Is that the only way I could have split it? No. All right, I like what Josh said, though, because this is probably the easiest way. All right, I'm going to show you another method. All right, because sometimes, have you ever known, sometimes I get home and I do stuff like a little weird Maybe not the perfect way every time. Another way I could have done that, now this is not the best way, but we are going to look at it, is I could have split it up right here. I could have said this is a rectangle. Did anyone try to do that? Okay. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm the only weird one because when I looked at it, that's what I saw. So I feel like there's someone else out there that saw this first. And if I had gotten home and done this by myself, I would have probably split it up that way. All right, I would have just take that top part off. All right. Now, Josh's way was better. Splitting it here was better. Okay. But I want to show you if you choose the wrong way, we can still get our numbers. Okay. So I'm going to let this green one be shape one and my yellow be shape two. Okay. So for shape one, what formula do I need to use for shape one? Kayla Thrasher? <coughs> what formula would I use for a rectangle? A equals what? We can use BH or we can use A equals LW, either one. Okay, so for this rectangle, 
I have this top line, right? My top line is what? 16. So I know my base is 16. Are you all okay with that? All right. What I need to figure out is my height. I need to figure out that number. Any ideas on how I could do that? Christy? Uh, split the 14 in half. Okay, so here's the problem. Like 14 in the yellow would be this 14 in the yellow, right? Okay, now is that exactly in half? No. No, because I know this is 14, so there's no way I could say 7 and 7. All right, so that's why I chose number 5, because sometimes you can't just split it in half. What could I do here, Aubrey? So if I know the whole thing is 17 and this part is 14, if I subtract those, what's left to go right there? 3. Because 3 plus 14 is what gives me 17. Do you all see how those match now? Okay, so my height here is going to be 3, 16 times 3. Someone help me out with that. It's going to be 48. You all just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Don't trust my mental math, guys. Sometimes I make mistakes. A lot of times I make mistakes. Is that right? Someone double check me. Okay. All right. Number two for shape two. What shape is that on the bottom? A rectangle. So what formula do we want to use? A equals BH. If we use it for one, we might as well use it for both. Remember, you can use LW. All right. What is my base and my height on this rectangle? So this one gets tricky too. Price? Okay. How did you get 30? Yeah, so he said, well, I know this green line is what? This green line is 16, right? Those have to match. And what's this piece right here? 14, and if I put 16 and 14 together, what's that give me? 30. So that's where he got the 30 from, and then my height, he said, was 14, which is on the side. Okay? <laughs> was Josh's way easier? Yes. Yes. Are we always going to pick the easiest way, though? No. no. Hey, if you're having to do a whole lot of this, if you don't want to keep doing all this math, could you try to split it up a different way? Yes. Yeah, maybe use a pencil to divide it before you do it in marker. Just a thought. All right, so 30 times 14 gives me 420. Is that right? Someone double check me. 30 times 14, is it 420? Someone check me. I don't know. I didn't do this problem last period. So I'm just, yes, okay. So centimeters squared. So now what am I going to do with this? Add them. Add them up. So I get 48 plus 420. And what does that give me? 468 centimeters squared. Okay. So, guys, the reason I showed you that is some of these can be complicated, but sometimes it's complicated because we made it complicated. We did not pick the best direction. Were we still able to figure it out? Sure. But we had to find a lot of numbers. If we had split it up here, this problem would have been a whole lot easier. All right, let's look at number four. Number four, what are my two shapes? I'm going to split that one into number four. Um, Connor? A triangle and a square. Triangle and a square. So let's see, let's list this one in green on the top. All right, if you want to use colors on the test for this, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You can just draw your line with your pencil. All right, and then this is going to be shape one and shape two. Okay, shape one, what formula do I want to use for shape one, Chris? Um, a equals BH divided by Great job. Okay, um, what is my base for that triangle? Base for the triangle, Chris? Uh, 14. Where did you get 14? Because there's not a 14 on that shape. How would you find that? I added the 3, which got me 6, and then I got the 8 from the bottom of the square. Perfect. 
So I know these two are 3, which means the 8, do you all see how I'm missing that spot in the middle? But the top of a rectangle is the same as the bottom. So now if I put 3, 8, and 3 together, that is where Chris got 14 from. Okay, so my base is 14. What is my height, Chris? 12. 12. From the bottom to the top is 12 divided by 2. Please do not forget to divide by 2. And what do I get for my answer? Don't forget to divide by 2. Feet squared. Make sure, because it's that triangle, make sure after you multiply, you divide by 2, okay? Yes? 84 feet squared. Perfect. 84 feet squared. All right. Let's look at my shape 2. I'm going to kind of move it up here. Shape 2, what formula should I use for that one, Morgan? A equals BH. Or you can use LW. Either one is fine. What are my base and my height for those, Morgan, for shape 2? Here's the thing about it. I'm just looking at this rectangle, right? So what's one side measurement that I have? Eight. And my other side measurement L is, eight. is 8. So I'm just going to use 8 for my base and 8 for my height. I think you're trying to make it a little bit harder. <laughs> All right, so 8 times 8 gives me 64 feet squared. So I'm going to take my 84 plus my 64. When I add that together, I get 100. And 48 feet squared. Okay. So I actually thought that shape was easier than the way we did the rectangle. Anyone else? <laughs> yeah. So rectangles can be easy if you split them up in the easy way. If not, uh. all right. We've already done a shape like six. We've already done a shape like seven. We're gonna do shape eight. All right. What should I do to eight? Price. What two shapes are you going to make? Okay. Yeah, so we can make a triangle square. I can split it up right here, and I can make my two shapes. Or what's another option? Because there's not always just one way to do these guys. So what's another option? I can split it here. Um, uh, Morgan? Not a trapezoid and a rectangle. Chandler? Okay, um, so we could. We could draw a line going here. And the reason that would work is because I have the base and I have the height for that triangle. And then here I could figure out the base and the height. Okay, so I could split it here. I could split it here and make two triangles. What's another option? Um, Christy? That one we don't want to do because there's no way to really pick where that line's landing. So we've got to always go to, from corner to corner of some sort. Okay, good try though. Other, anyone else have another idea? Chris? Yeah, so we could have gone down here. We could have made the rectangle and the triangle. That's one of them. Danny? No, we cannot go this direction. That's a good question as well. We don't want to go that direction because then do you see how that right, so that triangle doesn't have a right angle? That little triangle wouldn't have the right angle. So that's a good good idea. We can't go from this corner to this corner because then we wouldn't have a right angle, okay? So that's a good question, Danny. All right, any other thoughts on shapes that I can make here? Aubrey? Nope. There's no way to do that going from angle to angle. Oh, oh. <laughs> what shape is that? A trapezoid. <laughs> Kayla, did you ever raise your hand? No, did you ever answer? Now who's laughing? You would be if you had said it. Okay. 
not for the class. All right, don't look for those peers to confirm you. I can validate your thoughts, okay? All right, so right here, I have one shape. So we can split it. We can make our rectangle and our triangle. I can make two triangles, or I can just do one shape. Guys, what's easier, one shape or two shapes? One. one. All right, one shape is going to be easier. So my formula here, since this is a trapezoid, is A equals base one plus base two times the height divided by two. All right, what are my two bases going to be here? What are my two bases? So this is kind of the one tricky part on this one. Kayla? Okay, so I see where we got the 18, so that's base 1. This has to be base 2. How did you figure out that was 10? Because, um, if you know, if you yeah, so it tells me this piece is 8. The whole thing is 18, so what does that leave left right here? 10. So if you're missing a piece, chances are you're going to be doing some sort of subtraction to figure it out. So I'm going to have 18 plus 10. And my height, Kayla? Um, ten. ten. Going up and down right there. Divided by two. All right, when I work that out, what do I get as my answer? centimeters squared. All right, if, remember, if you just type that into your calculator at once, <laughs> that's not the way it works. All right, make sure you add 18 plus 10 gives you 28 times 10 gives you 280 divided by 2 gives you 140. Well, a lot of y'all did the same thing wrong because y'all gave me all the wrong answer. So <laughs> something we were typing in got really messed up. So my answer, did I need to add that to anything? No, that was just it. All right, are there any questions on these? All right, you have one, two, three, four, five problems to finish. That's your homework. All right, you should be able to finish it in class. Um, I will send out something tonight, so check the website. I will send out some homework help tonight. Check the website. Um, Aubrey and Jenny, if you will pause and study over your formulas and let me know when you're ready to take that quiz.